Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the Hello World episode of Vim. Now, on the right you can see the Vim screen uh, when you just open it. Um, we don't yet know what to do with it, but we're going to be writing our first file using Vim. We're going to get, get introduced to the two different modes that Vim has, which is text insertion and navigation slash um, <clears throat> text refactoring, we'll call it. So right now at the bottom you can see that there is no name. We are in a default buffer. No file is written yet. And we're just going to write a hello world. But right now we cannot write anything. In fact, if I just say J or H or anything like that, nothing happens. The reason is we're not in text editing mode. Vim is, is, has two modes. To begin text insertion mode, we can click different uh, items. For example, we can press I to start inserting text at the current point. I. Now, uh, if I wanted, now you can see at the bottom it says insert. If I wanted to get out of text insertion mode, I would press escape. And now I'm back. The cursor is different. Now, there are several ways to go into insertion mode. For example, I can press O to insert a new line below where I am and start writing like this. O here. And you can see I have line number two. Um, <clears throat> if I press escape, I go back to this. And again, it's still no name, it's still not written. I can uh, do different things. I'm going to press DD to delete the current line. And press I to pr say, hello world, escape. Um, now, if I wanted to write this file, to a file in a specific name, I would I would have to enter a command. Now, the way you enter commands in Vim is you always start with the um, uh, uh, colon. So it looks like this. Colon. And now you can see my cursor at the bottom. And this is important. Now I have multiple commands, but I can say just write. If I just say write, it says, dude, no file name. Let's try that again. Colon, write, and give me the file name, say something.txt. And now it says something.txt was written. I can actually go to my file system and see something.txt. Now I can go and re-edit my file. I can navigate back a word with B or W word front um, and I can insert something right at the end of the word say shift A which is after the line put this escape and write and something dot text has been written to if I wanted to enter a new line I can say oh this is a new line but if I wanted to enter the line just above, it's Shift O. This is the third line, actually. Escape, right. So that's just the beginning. What if I wanted to move to the beginning of the line? I would say zero. If I wanted to insert after this letter, I would press A and go here. If I wanted to undo, I would just say U for undo. If I wanted to replace this letter, I would say R for replace with a hello. And that's it.